Hey everyone, in today's video, I'll be doing a review on codesign.ai, which is an AI tool that allows you to build websites really fast with a prompt. This is a very simple method to being able to build out a website as a total beginner. So if you don't know how to code or you don't have any web design experience, then this could be the right platform for you. And today I'll go over all the different features, the pricing, pros and cons. And by the end, you'll know enough about the platform to know whether or not it's for you. We'll leave a link down below where you guys can get started. And once you guys click on that link down below, you guys are gonna get taken to a page like this. There's no credit card required and there's a seven day money back guarantee. So if for whatever reason you don't like it, you can cancel any time and get your money back. But basically from here, you guys can see that there's a big prompt right here. This is very similar to ChatGPT or any other AI tool that works on a prompt method. But basically you just enter in what you want the website to be and click on generate website. So for example, I put create a website for a social media marketing company. I want a section with the company testimonials, the three different services that we offer and the ability for my customers to book a call at the end. And over here on the right hand side, you guys can see that it asks you a few other questions that you guys can answer. And it also gives you an example of what you would put. So once you guys are done filling that out, you can choose the website language. For this example, I'll go ahead and choose English and then click on generate website. From there, it's going to ask me to sign up. So again, there's no credit card required. It's totally free to sign up for an account. And from there, you guys can create, edit and publish your landing page. Okay, so once I've created an account, you guys can see that it pops up with our landing page ID again. And right here, you can actually enter in some more characters. So I think at first you could have only entered 200, but now you have 750 characters. So if I wanted to be more in depth, I could do that. But for now, I think that's good. We'll click on generate website and now it's going to do everything for you. So it's going to set up your custom layouts and structures. It's going to craft the design. It's also going to select the color for you. It's going to optimize your content for SEO. It's going to find images for your website. And it's also going to optimize your website for mobile view. So pretty much everything that you would need for a website as a total beginner. And now that it's done, we can see that this is what our website looks like. As you can see, the design is very professional. I think this is the section of the three different services right here, are the testimonials along with a FAQ. And then down here, they have a call to action for signing up. So yeah, it pretty much designed everything that I wanted it to. And it also made it look very professional. Now when it comes to editing the website, it's very simple. Everything is pretty self explanatory. So let's say I wanted to edit this text right here, I can click into it. And I can either change the text right here, or I can go ahead and just double click and then change the text right here. If you want to use their AI tools, they also have an AI magic tool right here. And I can go ahead and improve the writing, make the text shorter, make it longer. I can simplify the language. I can make the text SEO friendly, or I can do a custom prompt to change up some of the text. So let's say I just want to improve the writing. So I'll go ahead and click on this. And now you could see that it's changed it up. And you guys can do this as many times as you want because it is free. Some of their other AI features might not be free, but it could potentially save you a ton of time. So that's worth checking out. Now, if I wanted to move this anywhere, I could just click on this right here and then drag it anywhere I want. Over here on the right hand side, they have a bunch of other settings that I can mess around with. I'm not going to go too much in depth because it's pretty self explanatory. As far as changing up the images, I'll just have to click on that and then click right here, choose image. And I can either upload an image myself or they have access to Unsplash. So I can get a bunch of other photos for free. So let's go ahead and just search up social media. And you can see that I have a bunch of other options to choose from. So let's say I want to change it to this right here. I can click on that and now it's change the picture. Again, I can change any of the settings that they have on here on the right hand side. It's very self explanatory. And for the most part, you guys aren't going to be needing to change anything except for the text and the pictures. I wouldn't mess with the design too much because it's already very professional right here on the top. You guys can change it from tablet to mobile view. And I'll just make sure that everything looks good on all devices before I publish. Now, if I don't like the design of this, I can go ahead and click on regenerate website right here. And now it's going to take another minute to create another design. And while we wait for that to load, I do want to mention that you guys can also get one of their templates. So if the AI prompts don't work for you guys, they have a bunch of pre-made templates that you guys can choose from. So just scrolling through, you guys can see that they have a ton of different templates. And up here at the top, you guys can also choose between a portfolio website, a product website, and even a services website. So for my example, I'd probably choose a service website. And as a total beginner, I could probably use any of these and just replace the images and the text. Once you guys have found a template that you like, you can either preview it in browser like this. And so now I could see what it kind of looks like before I choose. I can also open it in the playground. So this would take it to the editor or I can go ahead and just clone this project and this will be added to my dashboard. So here on the dashboard, you guys can see that you have the AI builder, the playground, my projects, templates and upgrade. So this is where you would see all of your projects. So if you have multiple websites, then you'd have them here. Templates are the templates that I just showed you guys. The AI builder is where you'd enter in the prompt and then the playground is going to take you to your website editor. Okay, so going back, it's done regenerating. And now as you guys can see, it's a little bit different. And if I scroll down, 
down, you guys can see that it's also changed everything else. So the layout is a little bit different. And again, I would just change up some of the text and the images. And if I wanted to add anything, I can go ahead and go to design right here. And let's say I want to go to the hero section with header. I can choose any of these templates right here and then click on it. And now it's going to add it to my website. So if I scroll all the way down, you can see that it is right here. And I can go ahead and drag this section block all the way up to the top. Up here, they also have the elements. So if you guys want to add specific blocks, then you guys can choose that right here. And yeah, once you guys are done and you're comfortable with your website, go ahead and click on save and publish right here. And right here, you can go ahead and name your website. So once you guys have entered a name, it's going to tell you if it's available. And from there, we can go ahead and click on save and publish. And now that it's done, it's going to go ahead and take us to the final page where we can go ahead and experience it in real time by clicking on this. So cool. This is what the page looks like. I can go ahead and go back and click on publish. And the cool thing about codedesign.ai is that you can actually add your own domain name, or you can actually add it to your WordPress website through their HTML code. Now from here, if I just want to post it on code design, I can go ahead and click on publish now. And now that that is done, I can go ahead and click on this button right here. And now I am at the website. So completely built out. It was very easy. As you guys saw, these templates are very professional. And honestly, anybody out there can build a really professional looking website with this platform. So going back to my dashboard, I'll click on this button right here and I'll leave the builder. And so now you guys can see that that is in my projects. And now let's quickly go over their pricing. So just taking a quick glance, they have some lifetime deals. So you pay once and then you can use it forever. And there's also recurring plans. So you can pay yearly or monthly. So going over the lifetime deals, this is for people who really like their website and they just want to stick with it. They don't want to build any more. And so this depends on whether you're trying to build one website, three websites or 10. And with these, you guys are going to have access to lifetime hosting plus the domain name. You're going to have access to their AI magic tools, their AI website builder, WordPress hosting, smart components and logic, and also forms and database. This is all just for the websites that you guys have access to. So whether you pay for the one website, the three websites or 10, these features are going to come with those. Now, if you guys want to create unlimited, then this is where you'd want to go with one of their monthly or yearly plans. And scrolling down, they have the detailed features on all the different plans. So you guys can pause the video right here and take a look at all the features and see which one is best for you. But if I was a total beginner, I'd probably just recommend starting off with the basic plan. This is a lot cheaper than if you were to go with the lifetime. And again, there's a seven day money back guarantee. So if you don't like it, you can always just get your money back. So yeah, when it comes to the pros, there's no coding required. It's very easy to use as you guys saw. It actually comes with a basic domain name. You're able to export it to a WordPress website if you want, and it's very fast. Now, in terms of the cons of using codedesign.ai, you have that it's not as customizable as other website building platforms like WordPress. And it's also not the most affordable option for beginners that want a lot of features. So yeah, overall, codedesign.ai is great for beginners. But if you're looking for the most affordable option, then we actually recommend a platform like Hostinger. With them, you can create up to 100 different websites on their basic plan at under $3 per month. This is super affordable for most beginners. And we'll also leave a link down below with our special code where you guys can get an even greater discount. So if you guys are interested in getting started with Hostinger, we also have other videos on this channel that we'll link to down below. But that one is going to be a little bit more complex than this platform right here that I showed you guys. And yeah, that's all for my review on codesign.ai. And we also have a free service linked down below at our website where we can help you set up your first website for free. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos just like this. Here on this channel, we make a lot of videos like this that help you start and grow your own website. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.